My name is Shane, I'm with RL Detman, and I want to show you how to replace a seal and a bearing on a VSC pump. You'll notice there is a weep hole down here and um, the water will be dripping out of this weep hole. That's a sign that your seal is leaking. Remove the bearing cap here. Here's where we're going to access our bearing. Uh, this is held on by a bearing locking collar. Um, it's got a set screw here that holds it in place. You loosen that up and as well. Um, you want to grab a punch and a hammer and tap this. This locks onto the shaft. Pull that off and this is your uh, bearing locking collar. Then next, um, we'll remove this bearing housing. Um, Four bolts. Um, in this case, this popped right off. If this does not pop right off, you got jacking bolt holes here that you can use uh, to back this bearing housing out. This here is our bearing housing. This is where our stationary part of the seal sits. We got a gasket. Um, our bearings on the outside here. Um, I'm gonna take out the bearing. And we also have a water slinger that is in there as well. Here is where our rota rotating element is of the seal kits. Um, it rides on the shaft in here. Pull that out. Um, this is our carbon piece that um, rides up with the stationary piece. And you want to inspect this. It's real important to inspect this shaft and make sure it's nice and clean. No grooves in there because that actually makes a seal where this rubber boot's going to ride in there. So if you got a bunch of grooves um, in your shaft, it's pretty much no good. Now to get this stationary part out, um, you can flip this over and you can have uh, access in here to kind of knock it out. So I'm just going to grab a punch and get behind the ceramic piece here and just tap it out. This is where our stationary seal is going to ride. What I'm going to do is grab some uh, emery cloth here and uh, clean the shaft up real well. Wipe it down. You also want to um, make sure you clean this out real well as well. Um, that, once again, is where this rubber boot is going to ride in here and also make a seal. Okay, now that I got my shaft nice and clean, um, my seal area here is clean, installed my new gaskets. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of O-ring lubricant and uh, put it on the shaft here. Then also, um, I'm going to put a little bit of O-ring lubricant as well around this rubber stationary boot here. You want to be careful not to try to get it on the face of the seal. If you do, just wipe it down clean with a rag, nice clean rag. Um, now I'm going to press this down in here, get it set in there. I'm going to make sure it's sitting nice and flush in there, there's no gaps. Uh, make sure it's seated all the way down. Next I'm going to install this um, the rotating element, put my spring on. I'm going to also throw a little bit of uh, O-ring lube on this part of the rubber here. Once again, you want to try to keep your fingers off, if possible, off the faces of these seals. Um, but you can always clean them back up. So I'm going to wipe that down. And when putting this uh, bearing housing back on, it's important to put this weep hole towards the bottom. So if there is a leak, your water is going to go down and it has a way to escape. So when putting this in, you want to be careful. And then um, bolt started here. Okay, now that I got that all tight, um, it is pretty important to make sure you kind of go in a cross pattern, drawing that in. Um, next, I'm going to install the water slinger. That goes in next, and it goes over a little lip in here. The purpose of the slinger is if the seal does leak, it's trying to keep the water away from our ball bearing, forcing it down through this weep hole. So, um, you want to pack this bearing with grease beforehand um, with your fingers or whatever you want to use and slide this in here. 
Um, you want to make sure it's seated back all the way, just get a little punch and tap it in. Next is our uh, locking collar. This is concentric, so it, uh, when you put it on, it is going to spin and it should lock right on there. Tighten up, take our punch, hammer, tap it on the shaft. We got our set screw. I'm going to tighten that up. That's tight. And the last is our bearing cap. Uh, clean all the old grease out of here before installing it. Um, and reassemble this. Now that I got the bearing cap all tight, um, you do want to uh, pump this fresh with some new grease and pump until you get some grease coming out of this excess weep hole down here. Uh, too much grease does not hurt. Uh, eventually it's just going to fall fall down, but that's okay. Hopefully this was helpful on uh, changing a bearing and a seal kit on the outboard side of a VSC pump. And I thank you again for watching.